Hey guys, I just posted some butt pics for you, but we had a little adventure last night that I'd like to tell you about. Um, <laughs> Matt. Yes, in my infinite I, wisdom. Yeah, Matt lost his keys in the bushes. In the bushes, I don't know, out on the front porch, because um, he was swinging the lanyard around. Because. I got, I have my tendencies, all right? I have an ADD, I like to move around a lot, I like to do things that engage me, swinging around the keys, there's something that happens, something that I do without thinking. Yeah, you're swinging the lanyard around until it broke and your keys flung off into the bushes. Listen, <laughs> I, we got them back. So yeah, we got them back, well. we got them back after an air... <laughs> we got them back after an hour of murdering the bushes. Well, listen, the nature took my keys, and I'm going to be damned if I let them have them. <laughs> listen, I will fucking pry my cold, dead hands into the earth to retrieve something that belongs to me, if I have to. <laughs> All right? Even as a zombie, you shall not take from me. So, fuck you. The tree, the bushes, and the brush had to die. <laughs> they had to be cold. They had to be to be shown that I will not tolerate any deception or treachery. But you were the one that flung them. Deception and treachery. It's not like the bushes actively chose to take them from you. Deception and treachery. You flung them. Deception <laughs> and treachery. See, like, because if the keys landed in my lap. It wouldn't be my fault because I didn't actively try to take it from you. They landed in my lap. Yes, but you didn't perform treacherous deception by hiding them from me. But they didn't try to hide them from you. It's where it landed. Listen, Mother Nature. It's called gravity. <laughs> I, I, I can read Mother Nature, okay? The bushes and the brushes were calling to me. But it's they called... They were laughing at me. But they it's were called... calling me an idiot. And I showed them what for. Matt, but, plants don't have that level of sentience. Well, then it shouldn't be a problem that they're dead now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just called gravity. That's where your keys landed. That's it. You can blame it on physics if you want to, but Mother Nature paid for it. Yeah, and Mother Nature can just simply regrow the same bushes you just killed. Not, <coughs> not, not, not after what I've done to them. <laughs> I think you don't know the res I think you just don't fully understand the resilience of Mother Nature. She is a very resilient. Listen. And sometimes spiteful maybe, woman. Maybe some new weeds will grow. <laughs> them bushes are dead. Them bushes are dead. <laughs> when them bushes come back, I'd be surprised. Hey, but Mother Nature can sometimes even be a very spiteful woman. I want you to put more rose bushes around here. So maybe. The next time I have to clear this place out, I get stuck on thorns. Maybe, yeah. Extra rose bushes, extra thorns. And just like I punished Mother Nature this time, I'll punish her again. A good old flamethrower does a trick every time. <laughs> right. you, got any, you got any more fucking bullshit you want to tell me about Mother Nature not, not being a deceitful, deceptive, treacherous whore? Although, I will admit, if rose bushes do start growing out here, I don't want to destroy them. I like roses. Of course, you want the rose bushes. I don't know if we could plant rose bushes out here. That's a weird looking cat. That is a cat, right? Yeah, that's, that's a cat. A cat. Okay. Oh, it was just kind of small and long. I thought it might have been like a, like, you know. What, you thought it was a weasel? Yeah. You know, a weasel or a ferret or maybe even just a weird looking skunk or what do you call those things that like to play dead? Possums? <laughs> or maybe so, just a starving raccoon? So, anyway, is there anything else you would like to mention? Kill it with fire. That's all. <laughs> okay, then.
well. But yeah, that, that that's I that's what happened last night, and it was that yeah that's that's what happened last night, and it was really fucking annoying. And I'm probably gonna use this as father fodder to tease you for years. Um. <laughs> they never forget. <laughs> they never forgive. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys later.